So are you moving to the Atlanta area and you're looking for a suburb that's just right outside the city? Well, you might want to consider the suburb of Sandy Springs and that's what I'm going to go over today. I'm going to show you around, show you places to shop and eat, some of the parks. If you like outdoors, this is a place that you may really, really like. I'll get into that more later, but let's get into it. There's a lot to cover. Cue the music. Let's talk all about living in Sandy Springs right now. my name is Molly and welcome to my channel if you are new or returning and you haven't subscribed yet and you want to know everything there is to know about living in the Atlanta area well then hit that subscribe button so you can follow along give this video a like and if you want to be one of the first to be notified when I do post another video make sure you're tapping that bell as well but welcome to my channel and I am just here to help you find a place to call home here in the Atlanta area that fits your lifestyle and your budget so if you're looking to make a move to the Atlanta area tomorrow or next year whenever the time may be make sure you're reaching out to me and i can help you uh, figure out where to uh, call home uh, so shoot me a text give me a call send me an email i look forward to hearing from you and yeah i am a real estate agent so this is what i do so i can't wait to help your move to the atlanta area a little bit easier so okay you guys i am in sandy springs today and you're probably wondering where am I? I'm on the top of a parking deck. I wanted to get a good shot of these buildings, which are the iconic buildings here in the Sandy Springs area, the King and Queen buildings. It's a bunch of office buildings. So yeah, I came up here so I could get a good shot of them right there. One thing you'll be surprised about Sandy Springs, at least I was when um, you know I moved here, is that Sandy Springs actually has a lot of headquarters right here in, in the Sandy Springs city. So there is Cox, there is UPS, there's Merce Mercedes Benz. So those are a couple um, companies you're probably very familiar with. Some other ones are Newell, so that's like Rubbermaid. Big companies like Inspire Brands, they are like the umbrella for Dunkin' Donuts, Arby, Sonic, those kind of restaurants. And also Focus Brands, which is another chain or umbrella of chain restaurants like Moe's, Cinnabon, etc. So there you go, lots of big corporate companies companies right here in the Sandy Springs area. So if you're going to be working for one of those, Sandy Springs obviously would be a great spot. Your commute would short time to your office would be very, very short. Um, now let's get into where Sandy Springs is on a map. Let's put that up right now. So you're going to see it's just north of Atlanta right there. Uh, you know, I always thought that Sandy Springs was north of I-285, but it actually goes south of I-285 down into kind of the Buckhead area. Uh, a lot of nice homes in that area. So it kind of has a funky shape. I kind of call it like an elephant shape, but it kind of goes up and then to the east and they call the like the, the section that covers um, north of Dunwoody, like the Dunwoody Panhandle or just call it the Panhandle. Um, so you can see it covers a pretty extensive area and it neighbors a lot of popular suburbs and places such as, you know, East Cobb or Marietta, Roswell, there's Dunwoody. Brookhaven and Buckhead. So it borders a lot of these neighborhoods that are very popular. And that's one great thing that I think people love about living in Sandy Springs is that you can get to all of these places within, you know, a 15, 20 minute drive. Speaking of drive times, you know, getting to Buckhead, that is gonna be about a 16 minute commute. Downtown, Midtown, that's about a 25 minute commute. And if you're heading to the airport, that can be about 30, 35 minutes. But don't be fooled like if you are traveling to any of these places during like the peak hours of the day in the morning and the afternoon these drive times you could be adding on 10 to 15 minutes to get to some of these because the traffic can be pretty horrendous but the good news is that sandy springs is right there off of 285 and highway 400 those are going to be your major highways so very easy access to highways to get yourself around the city. I think one thing that people like about Sandy Springs, it really does feel like an extension of Atlanta and it has, you know, all the city things that we, you would want in a city. It has a lot of events throughout the year. I'll talk more about those later. Um, it has some great outdoor areas. It has all the shopping, the dining. Um, so a lot going for it. And, you know, it 
that's close to the city life, if you want to get over into um, things go happening in the city. And you also have some MARTA stops along here. So there's three stops in the Sandy Springs area, and that's where the line ends, and then you got to head back south. But um, Hopping on the MARTA can be great if you are commuting into work for, you know, downtown or midtown or heading to the airport. Just get on MARTA and you can avoid all of the, the heavy traffic during the peak travel time. Okay, I'm going to take a break here and I'm going to hop over to basically the Sandy Springs like center area called the Sandy Springs City Center. So let's go check that out right now. You guys i was hoping the sun was going to make an appearance it is the fall time so this is kind of what you get sometimes but it's also weird because it's supposed to be 80 degrees today and i'm wearing shorts so hey i'll take it i will film an 80 degree weather any day than 50 degree or below so i am here in the sandy springs city green so this is a four acre park it kind of looks blah right now because it's fall time and everything's not beautiful and green but it is kind of a gathering spot here in the Sandy Springs area where they do festivals, they'll do concerts. You can imagine that in the summertime, that's a lot of fun. They'll do farmer's markets right here. They've got a splash pad over this way that it's not in use obviously right now, but in the summer months, it's gonna be going. Um, so yeah, festivals, concerts, and they, you know, we've got some office buildings here, city hall, and there's also a theater here so you can come catch a show. Lots of art type of events here. And Sandy Springs has a lot of things happening all year round. Um, some of their big events, for example, is, you know, coming up in December is the Elegant Elf Marketplace. So that's a big, you know, Christmas decor type of shopping event. They have the Sandy Springs Festival. They've got a lantern parade. They do Food That Rocks, which is like a taste of Sandy Springs. Um, Arts of Palooza, so a lot of great stuff that happens here in the Sandy Springs area and lots of great restaurants there. You're going to find most of your restaurants kind of off of Roswell Road. That's kind of a big road that cuts through Sandy Springs. So take Roswell Road. That's another access point on the I-285. But there's also some great restaurants right through here. So I'm going to take you and show you those. Uh, the Select is like a cool place like cool decor inside and flower child a few others so let's go check those out So that's just a sampling of some of the restaurants that you're going to find in the Sandy Springs location. Another great one, Rumi's Kitchen. It's a Persian uh, type of restaurant. So good, but make sure you bring an appetite. You will be full by the time you're done. Uh, grocery stores, so I gotta mention those. There are pretty much every option that you want is can, can be found here in the Sandy Springs area. Your Kroger's, your Publix, your Whole Foods, there's a Trader Joe's, there's an Aldi's, there's Target's. So you have all of that, you know, all the shopping that you could think of or wish for, it's here in Sandy Springs. And in terms of other shopping, there are a lot of boutique stores scattered throughout the Sandy Springs area. Plus you have the Perimeter Mall, which is actually on the Dunwoody side, but it's, you know, a five, 10 minute drive and um, you could also head up north over to the Avalon in Alpharetta. That'd be a little bit more of a hike, but it's a nice bougie type of shopping atmosphere. And you're gonna see around here, you see like there's some apartments all along here and you're gonna find apartments, townhomes and single family homes all here in the Sandy Springs location. In fact, um, you know, Sandy Springs is, you, you know, most people think suburbs are gonna be cheaper. It's not that cheap, you know, for a suburb. The average sales price for a single family home is 880,000. For a town home, you're looking at 480,000. And then for a condo, 245,000. Uh, yeah, the, the single family homes, you know, they're not that cheap. You can find some in the 500K price point, but they're probably gonna be, you know, under 2000 square feet, a ranch home older, needs some work. So uh, they're kind of 
becoming ex extinct. Full of other facts about Sandy Springs, the population is about 110,000. So it's a relatively larger city here in the Georgia area um, or in the, the surrounding area suburbs. Uh, the median age is about 36, 37 years old. And yes, the city of Sandy Springs was incorporated as a city back in 2005. So in a few more years, it will be coming up on its 20th birthday. So as I mentioned, most of your shopping is going to be along Roswell Road, shopping and dining. And I'm going to take you for a spin just in another small little shopping center. There's just a bunch of them and kind of across the street from this is the Whole Foods. Right behind me, this is Bridals by Lori. And then you're probably thinking, what's so great about that? Well, have you ever watched Say Yes to the Dress Atlanta? So it's on TLC, you know, the brides come in and they're shopping for a wedding dress and there's usually drama and all that good stuff. This is where it's filmed. I actually bought my wedding dress here. No, I was not on the TV show. I think I'd be pretty boring if I was on a reality show. But yeah, this is where it's filmed. And then there's just this whole little shopping center with some restaurants, some random shops. So I'll take a walk through here so you can kind of get another taste of little shopping outlet center that you'll find here in the uh, Sandy Springs area. So I popped over to the Abernathy Greenway. You're gonna always hear people talk about, oh, we have the Abernathy Greenway playground. Well, yes, it is a playground and it is pleasant to walk along, but look, I've got a three-year-old, well, no, he just turned four, a four-year-old and an almost seven-year-old. And I can basically tell that they would probably have fun here for maybe 10, 15 minutes and then get bored. There's not a ton of equipment, so I'm gonna show you all that here in a little bit. But, okay, I don't mean to diss <laughs> their playground equipment they do have another park called hammond park yeah, and hammond park has um, some tennis courts basketball courts a soccer field it has some a little bit more playground equipment that you would expect at a playground but i would say for as big of a city as this is sandy springs doesn't have a lot of great like huge playgrounds you you expect with a big suburb to have like these huge massive nice playgrounds but i haven't really found that here in the sandy springs area there's definitely more playground equipment along the chattahoochee river which i'm going to talk about in a second however sandy springs redeems themselves with the outdoor factor so sandy springs has a lot of like nature preserves and outdoorsy areas thanks to the Chattahoochee River. So one of those is very popular, the Morgan Falls. I'm going to go ahead there next, but they also have the Big Trees uh, Forest Preserve. So that's like a cool nature place that you can walk around. Um, so there's, yeah, there's tons of um, nature parks here in the Sandy Springs area, and that's a great place to run if you like to run or ride your bike go head out by the Chattahoochee River to do that. Now, if you like golfing, so Sandy Springs is very close to a lot of different golf courses, including the Cherokee Country Club, which is private. There's the Dunwoody Country Club, which is also private. There is the Hill Canyon Golf Club, which is a public golf course, and you can hop over to East Cobb, and there's the Atlanta Country Club, which is also a private one. But let me walk through this Abernathy Greenway so you can take a look at it, and we'll go from there. Morgan Falls, which is a very popular spot to enjoy the Chattahoochee River. And the Chattahoochee River encompasses the northern border of the entire Sandy Springs city. And a lot of people love coming here to just kind of relax. There's tons of 
um, swinging chairs where you can sit and just enjoy the view. There's the paddle shack where you can rent a paddle board. You can come here in a canoe, kayak, fish, and in the summer it's very popular to float the hooch. So there's several different access points throughout Sandy Springs that you can access the Chattahoochee River. Um, but yeah, this is just a very uh, popular area, this Morgan Falls, um, especially the, the Morgan Falls Outlook Point is where I'm at. They have a nice playground. That is actually, this is one of the better playgrounds I have seen in the Sandy Springs area. There's bathrooms, there's like a pavilion. So great place to enjoy a nice day. And now the sun is finally coming out. So yeah, so here, this is just a small glimpse of, you know, life here in the Sandy Springs area with the, the nature trails. I mean, there's na nature trails all along here that you can walk, jog, bike. So um, yeah, if you like being outdoors, Sandy Springs just, they have an abundance of nature trails throughout the city. You know, hiking this trail, I just wanted to give you a shot of what it looks like and feels like, but as I'm walking it, it just takes me back to, so I, I run, okay? Um, but when I got into running, I got talked into doing this 10 mile trail run. This brought me <laughs> memories to it. I do not like trail running. No, I uh, I tripped and followed probably four or five times with the, the roots and yeah, I just realized that pavement running was more my style. One thing I wanted to mention before I go and show you some home examples is the schools. So if you've got kiddos that uh, need to go to school, obviously, um, what are the schools like? Well, Sandy Springs has a ton of schools. They have, I think, 13 private schools and there's seven public elementary schools. I'm going to put up a list of all of these schools right here. And there's quite a few, so I'm not going to even try to read them all off. And I would say the rankings, you know, it just depends on the school, but a lot of them are very good and some are they don't get as good of a grade as others, but I always just suggest, you know, do your research on the schools uh, because your opinion may differ from somebody else's on what you consider a good school is. So there's seven elementary public schools, two public middle schools, and two public high schools. I got to watch my step here. So there you go. That's the school situation. I forgot to also mention one other very important business that is in the Sandy Springs area right on the southern edge is hospitals. So Sandy Springs has the Northside Hospital, uh, which is like the baby factory. They spit out 25,000 kids a year. I actually gave birth to my kids at the Northside Hospital. Great facility. They also have the St. Joseph's Hospital there and the Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. Their um, Scottish Rite location is there. So yeah, there's the hospital system for you. Great location, it's right kind of on the edge of Sandy Springs and Dunwoody. All right, I'm gonna start showing you some home examples. Hope you're ready for them. So I'm gonna show you one that's kind of in the middle of the road. It's actually near the average sales price in Sandy Springs for a single family home, which I said was 880,000. And I'm kind of in an area where you're gonna get a good mix of different styles of home. Like this is a beautiful ranch home behind me. Yeah, in some areas you're gonna find just straight up ranch homes. And then other areas you're gonna get a mix of kind of traditional, colonial, ranch, um, new construction. And I'm in an area where it's a little bit more on the higher end. So I'd say like the Western part of Sandy Springs generally has um, higher priced homes. And, you know, the range is, you know, the average is 880,000, but the range, I mean, it can go up to two, three, five million. I mean, especially when you get down by the Buckhead area, now that those homes, whew, they, yeah, they get pricey, but they are nice to look at. So um, I'm going to show you an example here coming up that recently sold it for, for 875,000 um, to give you kind of an idea of what you'll get in the Sandy Springs area. And yeah, depending on what neighborhood you're in, I mean, this is a very quiet setting. This one's kind of closer to the Chattahoochee River. And you'll notice like it's very hilly around here and a lot of the yards slope. Like you can see this one, this yard slopes down. Um, so, you know, you do want to be paying attention if you're looking at homes where the that yard slopes towards the house, or you could get water issues. So you just want to see what kind of drainage there is going on at that home. And that's why you reach out to me. These are things that I can keep my eye on for you that you may not be able to see when you're researching online at homes. You know, sometimes they take those pictures and it looks like there's no hill at all. And then you pull up to the house 
and it's on a giant hill. So reach out to me when you are ready to start your home search. I can help you out. Shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email. Okay, coming up to my first home example. And this is a beautiful Tudor style home. 875,000, five bedroom, four and a half bath, over 5,400 square feet. Here it is behind me. And you can see it does slope a little bit towards the house, but beautiful interior. It just has like really good charm inside. It has like the, the beam ceilings. It has granite countertops. It has like a stacked stone fireplace. It has a basement. All the bathrooms are updated. It even has its own little sports court, basketball court in the, the backyard. So just beautiful and um, so there, there, there you go. There's an example of a home in the 800K range. And yeah, just a beautiful, I feel like I'm like at the lake or something. It's just very quiet. And as you can see, very woodsy. And I would say a lot of Sandy Springs is very woodsy. Um, when you get closer into, you know, where all the shopping is, then it can feel a little bit more urban. Um, but yeah, just a beautiful location. And let me keep on going. We'll go check out another home example. For my next home example, I'm gonna show you one of the more expensive homes for our home tour today. But you can see like, uh, I mean, there's a nice newer construction traditional home. And then right behind me, an updated kind of traditional little, looks like it was a ranch that had popped the top. Um, so this is just a nice quiet street. It's on a cul-de-sac. And like I said, home values can range anywhere from, you know, 600 up to the two, three million dollar mark. One thing I do like about Sandy Springs is it's not just like a cookie cutter type of um, suburb. You know, there are some suburbs where I just feel like Everything's very homogeneous, nothing looks different. But in Sandy Springs, I mean, it's a very massive area, but you get a lot of different neighborhoods, a lot of unique characters. So, all right, I'm coming up onto my home example, and this one is a traditional brick. It is six bedrooms, four and a half baths, sold for at $1.17 million. It's just beautiful inside. Here you go. So it has custom white cabinetry in the kitchens, uh, beautifully updated throughout. It has hardwoods throughout, a marble bathroom in the primary bedroom or bathroom. All the bathrooms have been updated. It has a kitchenette in the basement, a huge basement area, and it's just under one acre of land. Um, so there you go. There's an example of what you can get in the $1 million mark. So now I'm gonna go and show you something that's a little bit on the more affordable end, um, just so you can get an idea of what you would get there. So let's go. final example I want to show you something in the 600k range this is a cute little neighborhood um, very kind of a mix of um, four brick four squared homes and ranch homes but this home behind me has actually been beautifully updated this is a ranch home right here it's a three bedroom two bath and it's over 1900 square feet sold for 640,000 and they blew out the middle section so you got the open living kitchen concept the kitchen has you know white cabinetry and island all the bathrooms have been updated it has a large backyard this is over just about a 0.5 acre so I'd say that's pretty typical in this neighborhood but just a lovely quiet neighborhood and it's not too far from all of the shopping and dining along Roswell Road. So there you go. There is uh, an example of something in the 600K range and there's definitely a lot more of those to go around. So, you know, um, you don't have to have the most, you know, a million dollar budget to live in Sandy Springs, but I'd say, you know, anything under 600K, it's going to need some work and some love. So, all right, I'm going to just drive around some different neighborhoods so you can kind of get a range of styles of homes in the Sandy Springs area. So sit back, relax, and enjoy.
As I was pulling along, I wanted to point out that there are some little nooks where, you know, if you don't want a huge yard, because a lot of these areas in Sandy Springs will have big yards, there are little nooks like this where all of the homes are very close together. Um, but I would say dominantly you're going to find bigger yards. But if you're wanting basically a house, no yard, there is that here in Sandy Springs as well. I want to take a minute and talk about townhomes because the average sales price for a townhome in Sandy Springs is 480,000. But I had to tell you about this gigantic complex literally if you drive down Abernathy Road you cannot miss this place this complex is on both sides of Abernathy Road it's called Aria it's built by Ashton Woods and literally you, you pull up and you feel like you're entering like a resort or something they have a pool nature trail um, you know all the amenities and these townhomes range from the 700k range to 1.5 million I believe there's some single-family homes in here as well and they're still building um, a beautiful area so if you're looking for something that's more upscale new uh, with all the latest and greatest finishes then you got to check out Aria <laughs> Okay, to finish off my tour, I thought I'd stop at the Sandy Springs Tennis Center. So if you are into tennis, this is where you need to be. The Sandy Springs Tennis Center has 24 courts, so that's a lot of tennis going on. Okay, you guys, well, that concludes my vlog tour of Sandy Springs. I hope you enjoyed it. There's definitely a lot to cover. I hope you got a taste and a feel of what it would be to what it would be like to live here in the Sandy Springs area. You definitely need a car. It is definitely spread out, uh, but you are close to that Highway 400 and 285 to get you around the city. But it's just a lovely area. Lots of hills, lots of trees, a uh, beautiful area. So whether you are thinking about moving to Atlanta tomorrow or next year, and then you need help with your home search, feel free to reach out to me, shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email. I'm standing by ready to help you out and make your move to the Atlanta area nice and easy. So until next time, you guys, I'll see you around the neighborhood.